Hey, my uh, Heiko 808 came in today, and I did a couple of quick test runs to see if I, to make sure I knew how to use it, and uh, it works pretty cool. So here, I wanted a quick review of this. If you can see this, after working on this ECU, and I need to clear the solder points there. In fact, you can see the ones that I did right there, um, and they're very small, and Anyways, I'll show you how easy this is to use. So, let's see. You just put it on here for a second. And that's it. It's done. kind of hard to do. I usually get in closer but I'm trying to get you a good view for the video. But that's basically it. You just go down the line. That last one I did didn't come out too good but I want to get in closer and I actually like to work from down on it. But that's it. You just put it on there, push the button and it's clear. And I did those um, just in a matter of seconds. And you saw that one there is the first one I did. The second one didn't clear out because I didn't hit it good. My hands kind of shaking. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, it's going to be pretty quick. I'll uh, I'll do them all and then show you the end result and how long it took. Okay, I just did this whole bottom row, and it takes me about two seconds um, per hit. And I just went down the line, and I'd only kind of missed one. And it's, boy, you could really get the hang of this pretty quick, and. Uh, uh, this is the first time I ever used one of these, and uh, there you go, I'm down to two seconds of solder joint. Uh, definitely a way to go. It's kind of like, uh, I'll show you here, got my uh, Weller. It's a WES51. It's a pretty nice for the price uh, soldering iron. Once you get quality equipment, you just cannot go back. I mean, after using a soldering iron like, the iron like this, where, uh, like if I turn it on, it's unplugged right now, but um, it's got a visual indication as to when the temperature is ready to go and uh, you got a variable temperature setting for your different kinds of jobs you want to do um, and this comes with you know a nice tip um, once you use something like this you can never go back to one of those Radio Shack pencil ones and the same with desoldering um, you know I've got the old solder sucker <coughs> don't even know where that is it's around here somewhere but uh after using this, you could never, I don't think I could go back to trying to use that solder sucker. For one thing, you can do all the work with one hand, which is really cool. Um, I even have a, a solder sucker that's got the bubble deal on there that the solder sucker heats up and you can suck stuff out, but uh, this is like the easiest thing I've ever used. Um, anyways, pretty pleased with it. I'm gonna, now I'm getting a little confidence with it. I'm going to attempt to show you me doing a row, or at least a couple of them. So. Let's see if you can see, yeah. So I got most of them, let's see, I see it looks like one, two, 
a couple of them. Some of these I was working on the old school, you know, braiding and stuff like that. And uh, so there's not a lot of solder in some of these. Oh, that was a good one. And so it's a little bit hard to where if I do it on fresh ones I haven't attempted in the past. Um, they work really well. Like that bottom row I didn't mess with too much before trying to do it with the uh, solder braiding and solder sucker and stuff. But uh, I'll have to go back and just hit a couple of those. But there you go. And again, this is my first attempt. So as I get better, you can see how quick and easy that is. <laughs> 